Hello YouTubers, so today we're gonna talk about the third pattern that I personally really like uh, it's called, it's a very popular pattern, uh, it's called the singleton pattern and on that pattern you're gonna see uh, everywhere the, the pattern, the singleton pattern is basically the idea of you wanting to maintain some sort of a state across your entire application so for instance, you know, let's say your application talks to Twitter API right and you have a broker or a service proxy or client or whatever people like to call it if you have a broker that holds up the knowledge of instantiating uh, a, 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 a class that holds up all the knowledge for the secrets the passwords you know all the things you need to communicate with Twitter and it gives you all these methods to communicate with Twitter post to Twitter and pull things from Twitter and whatnot you don't want to reinstantiate that everywhere especially if it's expensive to instantiate like if you have uh, uh, three different classes that hold some business logic and you need to call Twitter here and here and here you really don't need to reinstantiate your Twitter broker across all of these every, every time you need it you could just have one class that gets instantiated only once and every time you try to pull a new instance of that class it'll just give you the existing instance instance that was instantiated in the first place right so you could also use that to you know share uh, uh, knowledge or data across your classes you could send messages to you to two different classes using the singleton pattern so let's see how we implement that if let's say this is a program and I'm gonna go in here this is gonna be the code here is gonna be a little bit different than what you see uh, when you implement a singleton class uh, on the internet because I'm using like modern C sharp syntax C sharp six seven and above uh, there's there's fat arrows and you know it's it you're gonna like it you're gonna like how simple C sharp makes it to look like so let's just say we have a Twitter broker in here and I'm gonna make my Twitter broker sealed so you can't inherit anything from it now the tricky part here you don't want people to be able to instantiate make make new instances of your of your class right so we're gonna privatize we're gonna make that guy then the constructor private so no one could access that no one can do new instances it's just once and for all right and um, the the cool part here about C sharp six and above the syntax is that you get to go and say public static uh, I want to give it just this one instance so I'm gonna say my Twitter broker instance uh, and I only want to put a getter because you don't want people to set you know new instances you just want to give this one instance that you're sharing across. Uh, the entire application and this instance is gonna be the the Twitter broker so because because the constructor is private you could only use it within your class right but it can't be used anywhere else right and just for testing I'm gonna show I'm gonna build here some new property let's call it timeout and I'm gonna show you how it's exactly the same it's exactly the same instance across your entire application this is just to demo you know how we gonna uh, um, how this is the same instance. So let's let's make a new instance of Twitter broker in here, and let's say this is Twitter broker. I typed broker really wrong because I don't know how to spell. And this is a Twitter broker instance, and I'm gonna print here the value of the timeout on my Twitter broker, right? And then on that very same instance, I'm going to set the timeout. After I print it, I'm going to set the timeout to 100. Now down here, I'm going to make another totally different, it seems, Twitter broker. That's a very short name, right? And I'm going to instantiate or call another Twitter broker. And in here, I'm just going to print out the Twitter timeout because this is the same instance across your entire application whatever you set here is going to be exactly what shows up in here even if you're calling it a different a different name and whatnot because you're using it across your entire application so let's run and see what happens so zero that's the initial value for an integer value 
that is the first value in here and then we set the timeout to 100 and then we printed it in here and it gave you 100. This here, the code in here, this is the most simplistic way to implement a singleton. You know, I've seen people do stuff like, um, you know, you have to, to create a read only uh, val value in here and then you go down here and do a git and check if it's null and then all you don't have to do any of that you know it's just one line uh, well a couple of lines right a couple of lines of code you know you privatize your your constructor and then just set up that static value and boom you got a a, a, a singleton um, a singleton pattern in place it can also be used with a lot of things like facades you could use it with uh, builder patterns like uh, like uh, factories, the factory pattern. If you look up our first video, we're talking about the factory pattern. You, you don't need to instantiate 300 uh, instances of, of a factory. You just need the one. So you could use that. Now think about the memento pattern that I talked about in the previous video. With this uh, pattern, you can have synchronic singleton, memento singleton, like a, a messaging system, that uh, an object that you can use across your entire application. But you can also revert its state, you know, to a certain point in time. It's, it's pretty awesome and uh, it's the same thing across your application. You know, try to put together these patterns and uh, try to come up with something innovative. It really depends on uh, what your application is doing and how you want it to... Uh, to function and this is very optimum you don't have to pay the cost of instantiating uh, a, a, a new instance of a class if it's the same always you know just make it once and use it everywhere uh, if you have any questions concerns comments uh, drop it in the comments uh, section please don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching